What's good everyone, OJ here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about remakes. Like everything that I'm excited for in 2020 is a remake or re-release. I know that's horrible, but don't worry guys. There's plenty of new games coming out. Obviously we have like Animal Crossing New Horizons. We got Cyberpunk, we got The Last of Us Part 2. There's plenty of new content to go around, but I wanted to make a video dedicated to the remakes slash re-releases that I'm excited for. Four. So the first one that I want to start off with is a game that many of you guys probably just skipped and many of you guys probably didn't even have a Wii U and that is Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore. Yes, it's a load of a title there, but it's still really good. This game is one of the best RPGs that none of you guys played. One of the things that I love about this game the most is the combat system. Obviously, that's what makes an RPG tick. That is the DNA of an amazing RPG. Of course, story is great and all that, but if it's not fun to play, you're probably not going to want to play it because all you're doing is fighting in RPGs, right? There's a lot of grinding and leveling and building up and doing the same thing. So if you don't have an amazing combat system, you're probably not going to have too much fun in the RPG unless you're just looking for the story. But Tokyo Mirage Sessions absolutely nails the perfect hybrid of what you've played from Shin Megami Tensei games in the past, what you've played with Persona, kind of puts them together, sprinkles a little bit of Fire Emblem dust on the top, and bam, you've got Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Now, I know the appearances of the game seem a bit, uh, I would say, vibrant, but if you can get past that, this is one of the most solid RPGs that you will ever play. Deep mechanics with the turn-based RPG, same momentum-based system that you've seen in other Shin Megami Tensei or Persona games. You hit somebody with a weak attack, so almost like Pokemon, right? You hit them with an attack that they're weak against, bam, you get another turn. Well, you don't do that in Pokemon, but the weaknesses and resistance and stuff is there, and you can just crush your foes with continuously getting extra turns by exploiting weaknesses. I love the battle systems in Persona games and Shin Megami Tensei, and this is one of the best out there. I would put it right up there with Persona and the other previous Shin Megami Tensei, like Shin Megami Tensei 4, for example. It is a very good game, and it's coming out very soon. It's not going to be too much longer. January 17th, 2020 or if you're watching this in the future obviously it's already out right now if it's past january 17th so you can pick it up it's only 11.3 gigabytes so it's not too bad on file size if you're looking to have a portable experience all digital as well so very strategic deep stylish rpg with all sorts of cool stuff in there now it used to be like right like fire emblem crushing Megami tensei it's not really that guys i mean there's some light fire emblem ties there's the battle system that you know but it's pretty much a brand new rpg all the characters are pretty much new and everything but you fight as mirages from like the fire emblem universe but honestly that's just kind of like eh on that but either way it's a great game go pick it up when it comes out or pick it up if it's already out so we're gonna move on to the next title here guys and that is trials of mana now when this game got announced I've talked about this before on this channel, but I was just like, yo, like what is going on here? This is a full, wait, full, let me just repeat that, full 3D remake of the original game, Second Densetsu 3, that never got localized. So, well, it did get localized. We had the Secret of Mana collection, but that was like in the Super Nintendo form. This is a game, essentially, if you play it for the first time here, this is going to be a completely new experience that many people did not play because the game was not officially localized back when it came out in the 90s. This is phenomenal. I never expected Square Enix to do something like this, especially after the Secret of Mana remake when that dropped and that looked like it was made on about a budget of $15 with some chips and some soda promised to the developers okay that shoestring budget of the original secret of mana i would have never thought that square enix even thought about this franchise like that but they said hey let's give them something that they haven't seen before um they took some time but we did get the collection of mana and now we have this as well coming this game is coming april 24 2020 so in that first half of the year there are some bangers for remakes we already got tokyo mirage sessions now we got trials of mana but the next game it even gets better depending on what type of games you like to play but xenoblade chronicles definitive edition words cannot describe how excited i am for this game this game gets me more excited than other potential things in life if you come to my live streams you know what i'm talking about here and yes 
I am terribly looking forward to seeing the rest of the characters, to seeing Rhyme Time. I can't wait to have Rhyme Time in HD. It better be Rhyme Time over and over and over again. They better not patch it out like they patched out the whole, you know, don't forget me and all of that in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm not giving it less points, but still, I'll be upset and I'll make sure to let Nintendo know about it on Twitter, but yes. Monolith Soft, the epic, Xenoblade Chronicles, one of the best games ever made, one of the highest ranking Wii games ever, one of the games that literally got people to write angrily to Nintendo to form this movement to get them to localize it. And if it wasn't for Nintendo of Europe, we would have never got this, this would have never happened, but to see this remake of the original Xenoblade Chronicles game is absolutely amazing. This game is a lot bigger than people are giving it credit for. The mainstream media, and I would even say some gamers too, they want to sit here, they don't want to give credit where credit is due. Monolith Soft deserves it. This game is going to be the best game or one of the best games. I would say top five game for 2020 because many of you guys probably haven't played it. It is going to add new content in there. We've already seen what some of the new areas in terms of the reveal trailer. It is going to refine an already amazing combat system. You're going to have the tail of the Monado. You're going to have Shulk. You're going to have everybody there. It is going to be great. And there's so many Super Smash Brothers fans that probably didn't know who Shulk was and you can finally play his experience on an HD system through normal means. This is a 100% you better get it and if you haven't played the original you've got to check this one out. You've got to know what's going on with this because this is one of the greatest RPGs that I've ever played and the biggest problem that I had with this game was basically kind of how jank it was at times in the open world and how it looked on the Wii. Just playing it wasn't the best experience using the Wii, but now with the Nintendo Switch being able to play anywhere that you want, having the normal controls there, not have to have like a Wii remote plug-in with the classic controller kind of dangling and all that stuff, this is going to be it. This is definitely it. Although you can get like the 3DS version and all that, but the 3DS version, if you have a new Nintendo 3DS and the Wii U version that is just the Wii version onto the Wii U and I had issues with that as well so this is the prime and best way to play Xenoblade Chronicles it's right here on the Nintendo Switch now it's coming out in 2020 we don't know when but I have an idea that it's going to be around the anniversary so I would probably say summer so June-ish or so that would be the 10 year anniversary of the original launch back in Japan so I'm guessing that it's going to be that but we'll have to wait and see I think it's going to be worldwide release and I think it's going to be absolutely amazing but we have one more game and that is Final Fantasy 7 Remake that is March Third, and I've talked about this game quite a bit on this channel. I do updates and everything for this game when it comes to new content. And Final Fantasy VII Remake, although I am disappointed with what they're doing with the game in terms of it's not going to be the full experience, it's going to be more of episodic type of thing, it does still seem like there's plenty of beef, there's plenty of chicken, there's plenty on that sandwich to make this complete. It's going to have side quests, it's going to have new elements, it has a beautiful, absolutely amazing graphical overhaul that makes this game literally look like a PS5 game in terms of what I'm seeing from PS5. This game right here, Final Fantasy VII Remake, at least on a PS4 Pro, looks like it's pretty much that. It's the closest thing to a PS5 game that we're going to get on the PS4 because the graphics in that game are absolutely nuts. I mean, it just goes to show me that there's still a lot left in the tank for the current generation because Final Fantasy VII Remake is one of the greatest looking games that I've ever seen. And it's not just about raw polygon detail. The art combined with the graphics is what makes this game look so good because there's games that come out and people say oh wow it's the best graphics ever and look at all this tech and all that and i'm looking at like eh, well the art's not that great so i like other games instead but this game definitely has it man i am really looking forward to playing this i like what they did with the battle system because you have the classic right where you can kind of play just like a turn-based rpg back in the day and then you have the new modern battle system as well heck that might even add some extra replay value if you want to go through it one way then go through it again new game plus on the other so i am down for final fantasy 7 remake i think it's going to be an amazing experience and it's going to sell a ton 
of copies. I know I'll be picking up probably like a special edition. I got to get something. I'm not going to get that cool motorcycle and all that. That's like $300 or something. $300, $400. I'm good on that Square Enix. Y'all can keep the, the Cloud Motorcycle. But I'll definitely pick up like a special edition for like the 99 or something like that. But either way, March 3rd cannot come soon enough, guys. We got Tokyo Mirage Sessions in January. We got Final Fantasy VII Remake in March. We got Trials of Mana in April. And then, of course, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. That is an amazing first half of the year. That is absolutely awesome. So what are you guys' thoughts on the remakes for 2020? What are you guys going to be picking up? Let me know your thoughts. And if there's any other remakes that you're excited for, I'd love to hear them in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Go ahead and check out the links in the description below. We got Facebook and Twitter. Go ahead and give us a like and a follow on our social media. Also, check out our brand new channel, the OJX channel, where I talk about other stuff as well. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you go subscribe to our secondary channel. Also, make sure you hit that like button if you did like this video. Let's me know you guys want more content like this going forward in the future. And subscribe to Player S's for the latest RPG, Japanese, and Nintendo gaming news. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.